hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is radiant shanique and i am back with another video okay so in this video i will be showing you how to make your very own wig this is um a closure wig that we will be making today and i am using a five by five closure and three bundles so in this clip i am sewing down the closure this is the very first step um you should do when you are making your wigs okay so here's another angle and this angle is the angle that i love and i think that you guys will appreciate it shows here how i am sewing this closure down you want your closure to be as flat as possible so with this method that i'm showing you right now this is how to ensure that your closure lays as flat as possible I want y'all to really pay attention to this next clip this clip in this clip I'm showing you how to lay the um, how to get your closure to lay flat y'all and this closure was semi damaged so I had to do some extra work but this is a good example of how you can get the closure to lay as flat as possible when it's on your head um, this will prevent the need for glue as well. Here's a better angle of what I was talking about or explaining to you in the previous clip. How I make sure that there's no buckles or puckles in the closure and ensure that the closure will lay flat. You're gonna see, in a few seconds, you're gonna see me check for those puckles or buckles, see? right there i'm checking to make sure it is nothing is sticking up or i'm just making sure everything is flat okay i let this clip play in real time because i really wanted you guys to see what exactly i am doing and how carefully you must be when sewing on the elastic band you do not want to sew through that band if you were to sew through the band that band will not stretch and your wig will possibly be most likely be too small or it won't fit over your head okay so y'all just be careful when you are sewing along the elastic band do not go through the band
Okay, so we have finally reached the part where we are now sewing on the bundles. So y'all, as I mentioned before, to make sure you are not sewing through your elastic band because your wig won't stretch. I just wanted to reiterate that just so y'all don't mess your wigs up. It would be a tragic thing to spend two hours plus on making a wig that you can't fit. So, to prevent all of that, I am just mentioning one more time to be very careful as you are sewing along that elastic band. Now, some people start above the, the band, but I like for my bundles to go as low as possible that way it gives me a little more length in the back so yeah you can start wherever you like in this next clip you're gonna see how i start to sew i didn't like that last clip because it didn't have a good angle i couldn't get a good angle to show you guys exactly what I was doing. So here's a better angle and I'm going to explain it for you. So I just secured the bundle in place with the T-pin. And now I am going to show you how I start from the back of the weft, go through the weft and pull. Then I'm gonna create a knot. right there I created one knot and I'm gonna create another one and then loop it about two to three times so that knot will secure that weft and that bundle in place so it does not come up and then I'm going to continue to sew the bundle to the wig cap In this clip, you're gonna see how I fold the bundles or the wefts to, instead of cutting them. I don't like to cut the client's bundles because most clients use, usually reuse their bundles. So I try not to cut the bundles if I don't have to. So I use a fold over method and you're gonna see here how I make sure that that bundle is laid flat even though I did not cut it, even though I used the fold over method, it's gonna still lay flat. So watch y'all, I am inserting this bonus tip, but it's a secret. This is how to save you time um, from marking the wig cap you can measure with your finger like I'm doing right now how far apart you want your bundles to lay so usually when you are at the top of the head um, kind of where I am now you want to make kind of space your you want to space your bundles out a little more than you did in the back so that you don't have the 
cone head or the cone wig so using your finger you want to measure the width between each bundle okay so in this clip I'm showing you how to thread the needle and because I did say this is a beginner friendly video I want to include every step and here I am tying the knot wrapping the thread around my fingers twice moving my fingers back and forth and then creating the knot by pulling the thread to the end just like this yep perfect This has to be the most important part of the entire wig, other than the, the closure. So this is like the second most important part of the whole video. Um, How you sew down this part of the wig is vitally important because if you sew down wrong, overlap your wefts or sew too much hair in this area your wig will be jacked it will be lumpity lumped it will not be flat it will not look right so again measuring to make sure that your bundles are laid where you want them to be not too close together and not too far apart you want to take your time and make this as perfect as possible this step is crucial y'all notice how I am not sawing over the closure I am just closing up the gap yes <laughs> We are finally done here. I am securing that knot. Make sure nothing comes apart. And that's another tip, y'all. Make sure that you are securing the knot so that your bundles done don't come unraveled. Okay? Okay. So, guys, thank you for watching. I love you all, y'all. Um, I am going to insert pictures of the final look, showing you that it is a flat wig and it's slayed and hopefully my client will love it like I know she will because it's a uniquely radiant wig but anywho don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment and let me know what you would like to see in the next video 
Thank you guys. Love God, love Christ, love life, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.